might Julia Gillard's status as an atheist mean that she can represent Australians more effectively and be a unifying figure for people of faith and those who don't have faith? I've got time to uh, go around the panel quickly on this. Let's hear from Annabelle. Thank you. Um, uh, look, I think there's been a bit of chat about the atheism question, Julia Gillard's decision to uh, declare herself as an atheist. I think the worst possible thing would have been for her to pretend that she isn't. Mm. I think that actually the, um, the key, um, the important thing here is, and the thing that people are looking for in their politicians, and sometimes religion is a, is a cue to this, you know, they're looking for deep-seated beliefs and convictions. And if if her convictions lie elsewhere and she stands by them, she's robust in her beliefs about how to improve Australia, I think that does just as well as any other kind of belief. I think that um, um, people respect politicians who have um, deep-seated religious beliefs. It's an, it's an evidence that they stand for something, but I don't think it's the only way of demonstrating that you stand for something. Graham, um, I Well, given that... Given that Julia doesn't believe it sort of explains why she broke the 11th and the 12th commandment which was thou shalt not stub stab Aww. St Kevin in the back. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, How Christian I, uh, is that? I, 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 I actually do think that this is going to be a problem not for Julia but it's going to be a problem for a lot of those priests and whatnot who give guidance to, par to parishes and to churches during election campaigns saying um, you really ought to vote this way. It's very hard to say you ought to vote for somebody who actually doesn't believe that the church should exist. All right, let's hear finally from Cheryl oh, Kerner. No. We're briefly, I we haven't say got three time. cheers for her honesty. Yeah. Thank goodness we're being delivered from at least one person's press conferences outside a church every Sunday. <laughs> and I want Christina Keneally to do the same.